I've been healthy my whole life, yes, and um, that's why this cancer thing really threw me for a loop. I did not expect that. Immediately I thought, oh my goodness, I don't want to lose my hair. And right along with it was, I sure hope I don't have to have a mastectomy. I did have a mastectomy and due to complications I was unable to be reconstructed and so I called a local cancer society and said I needed to have something to wear so I can go back to work. She says, I'm sorry, you won't be able to put anything on that scar for at least six weeks. That's the first time I cried out of the whole time. Later that week, I went into the doctor. While I was in the waiting room, I picked up a brochure for a silicone prosthetic, and then he sees that brochure in my hands, and he says, that he says, most women are not too satisfied with that as a solution. I was like, well, what am I gonna do? And he says, well, do you knit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and so that's where this all started. Oh, yeah, fabulous. yeah. And he yeah. brings out this, yeah this eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with a color picture of a knitted knocker. And it's a wonderful alternative to a breast prosthetic that's handmade. And I, I just was like floored. I, I grabbed that sheet and he says, you can't have the sheet of paper, but I'm told you can go and you can get the pattern. So I went home with that and I called my dear friend Phyllis. She said, I will make one for you and I'll bring it to church this Sunday. I wore this loose fitting jacket over my shirt and just was very self-conscious. Phyllis found me, so I immediately took him into the bathroom and took one of those out and I stuffed it in my bra and it was perfect. It was perfect. It was light, it was soft, it was uh, pretty and it worked in my bra wonderfully. I took off the jacket and I went out and I just felt normal. It was just wonderful. And it just changed everything. And so at that point, that became my purpose. That was my purpose from that point forward, was to make sure that these knitted knockers would be available to any woman that needs them. They want to go out in public and they want to feel pretty. And it just helps them at a, what can I say, at an ugly part of their lives, just go out and feel pretty again. That was the mission that I went on, was to provide that. So knittedknockers.org, the purpose of that is to connect these knitters with breast cancer survivors to offer free knitted knockers. The vision is big, the vision is huge. My vision is to enable each of these groups to provide for their own community. So no one group has to create 50,000 of them, but if there's a thousand knitting groups that need to come up with 50 a year, that's doable. The most important thing is that it's soft, and it can fit right into a regular bra. You don't have to have anything special because the specialized things are so expensive and you don't know if you want to spend that much money on something that may not fit or may not be workable. Some choose to just use a prosthesis, but those can be heavy, they're, they're plastic, they sweat, and they're itchy. Now you can't feel how heavy this is, but this is like the size of a water balloon and this is like the size of air, right, as far as the weight. I have never heard of these before till Barb introduced them to our office and so it's really, it's exciting and it's helpful. Barbara has been generous enough to supply this office along with many other offices with these knitted knockers available free to patients. They'll, they'll be real cautious at first and then they're like, ooh, I like that yellow one. I'll have something that looks like this and something that looks like this and I never know what people are going to pick. They're, they're almost like, really? Really? I can have it? And we're, yeah. <laughs> Dear knitters and volunteers, I love the knitted knocker you so generously sent me. It is perfect. Some people pick this. But I found the perfect one for me. Some people will pick this, you know, with this fuzzy... It is a hairy, bright orange with colorful specks on it. You just never know. They are amazed at the beauty and cleverness of the creation. And of course, the name. Because you tell them I have some knitted knockers and they look at you like, uh-huh. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart and knocker. And then it comes together once you bring them in and you show it to them. Thank you so much for knitting these for us breast cancer survivors. And then they're excited. They really are. It's, it's really an exciting process. The stories that I hear of how much people love them, it's amazing. It just feels good. It gives me great joy to provide these. 
um, to other women because I know what it meant to me. I watched you through that whole time period, from the surgery to where you are now, the, and just thinking of others and the mission of what you're doing for others. It's just, it's, it's just beautiful to see. Barbara's the most upbeat, most wonderful woman. She has powered through this really well and made it available for other women. She just took this idea and just took off with it. And I'm just so impressed with her drive, not just for her. It's not her that she's caring for. She's caring for everybody else. Well, I tell you, it was a blessing for me because it took me out of my funk. Yeah. Just yeah. being able to have a purpose and something to to look out at for others rather than all about me. But patients are so thankful that someone cared enough to spend. You know, it's a, it takes a long time to make one of these things. I mean, I couldn't do it. There's a lot of stitches in there. And for someone to take that much time over and over and over to donate to women that they don't know, the women that receives it really feels that connection. You know, they, first of all, before they see it, they love the name. <laughs> and, uh, and then when they see it, they say, well, this is such a good idea. Everybody uh, really appreciates it. So I want to thank you oh. for really experiencing this. And so, thank you. You know what? It just makes life so much more beautiful. We're a yarn shop. We're sticks and needles and yarn. We just feel like we can do this and we can make a difference. They're so touched that it's free. Mm -hmm. That yes. someone did it for them, mm -hmm. that yeah. someone's yeah. thinking about them, you know, it's it's so personal, so touching. Yeah. They just pour their, their heart and their soul into to making these and, and that's priceless.